No, that's that's not a cage to keep the tomato from running away. That little tomato seedling inside there, I put that around to keep the birds off of the tomato seedling. Twice I've put that plant out here and twice I came back the next day to look at it and it was half the size because the birds back here that hang out around our raised bay garden, uh, they just destroy that little seedling. Uh, so hopefully it'll be protected. By the way, good morning, magandang, umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. Uh, sitting here in the backyard this morning, uh, kind of going through, taking a look at some of the, the, the growth from the rainy season rains that have been coming up with a pattern pretty much every day. It's like uh, around lunchtime, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we get these scattered rains that usually last mostly into the evening time. Uh, but that's what makes this season so great uh, uh, from the rainy season. I look at it as a great thing because it helps make everything in the backyard so green. Everything takes off. I see new growth. As a matter of fact, let me show you something here real quick on the uh, apple guava tree. Now, I came back here a few days ago and I noticed uh, the blossoms are starting to go away right now. These They were very white and beautiful. I think I have a picture somewhere I can show you. Uh, but you can see we're starting to get apple guavas. Remember how many times have I told you I've cut all the, the uh, apple guava fruit off of here to allow this tree to start growing and developing. Well, you know, I think now since it's doing so well, I think I'm going to go ahead and allow these to continue uh, to grow. And we'll keep an eye on the apple guava as they grow back here. All right, well, I don't want to confuse you with the intro this morning because it is not about anything to do with growing plants back here. What today's episode is going to be, it's going to be a continuation of the generator upgrade. Remember, we did a video two episodes back uh, and I explained in that episode that we are going to do a modification. Well, anyway, all the parts came in today from Lazada. Yes, even on Sunday, Lazada never sleeps. Uh, they deliver seven days a week. Anyway, some parts came in. We're going to take a look at those parts and we are going to do a really nifty mod to our generator down in the basement. Hopefully everything works out fine. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <music> Now I brought some of the, the parts out back here by the Baihe Kubo that were, they were delivered this morning from Lazada and I'll show you the modification that we're going to do to have a better handle and have better status on our generator down inside the basement. Well lo and behold all the parts that I ordered came in and they look like the exact parts that I was looking for. Uh, so one of the things we're going to do, we are going to put a voltmeter, here's a voltmeter right here. Uh, you can kind of see it's a digital a digital voltmeter and you'll get to see it a little bit better once we hook it up and we put some power to it but what this is going to do this is going to give us a real-time status of the battery and let us know when the battery needs to be charged now this i need some way to turn off the power because we don't want to drain the power on the generator while uh, we don't need a constant monitoring only when we need to look at it so i bought a little bag of toggle switches i could have just bought one well, I don't know if I could have bought one. I, it seems like, ah, maybe I could have bought one. Uh, but I always like to have a good inventory inside my little organization kit uh, because these are always handy. And these are multicolors. I have green, a uh, little uh, red LED light. And I think there's one more color. I think there's a yellow. Yeah, here it is, like a yellow amber color right here. So I got a bag of toggle switches to turn on the monitoring uh, LED switch over here or the LED meter indicator uh, so that I'll be able to see the status and then turn it back off so it doesn't do a drain on the battery. And here are those connectors I was telling you about in the episode uh, two episodes back and these are the, the bulkhead connectors where I'll connect the battery on the inside of the generator and I have a way to do a charge, maybe a trickle charge from the outside where I don't even have to open up the door to the generator. Now to be able to put these in through the bulkhead is going to be very easy. You just take a drill and you'll just drill it through right here and that's a very easy installation. Now for the the uh, LED uh, meter here, 
for the voltage, you need something like this right here. Now I have a steel, uh, a steel drill bit here that will cut a hole. This will cut a 30 millimeter hole inside the bulkhead of the generator, uh, which should facilitate uh, easily to be able to slide this meter in and lock it back here. Let's go ahead and go down in the basement and get this project started. Now what I always do before I do any installation, I have a block diagram. I lay out the way I want to connect all the electrical components. So that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to start out with the battery. We're going to go from the battery. We're going to go to a fuse uh, for protection. We're going to go from the fuse over to the switch. And then the switch is going to provide the power to our meter, our voltage meter. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that on paper. We'll take a look at that and then we will start the installation. So let's just kind of briefly look before we go and install what we did here. We have the battery inside the generator. It has a positive and a negative terminal. Uh, then what we're going to do, we're going to connect the positive of the wire from here to a fuse. Uh, from the fuse, we're going to take the output of the fuse and we're going to put it over to the center tap on the switch. Uh, this center tap here is an on off. Basically when you turn this little rocker here, it will either open or close these two connections back and forth to each other. And you can test that out with an ohmmeter if you want to validate whether uh, the, these are the two terminals. But normally they will be the same color. These two will be silver and this will normally be like a, uh, a bronze or a copper kind of a looking color here. Uh, but make sure you test them out so you're connecting up the right one. So when the switch is closed, in a closed position, both of these are the same. It will close the switch. It will allow this connection here to go over here, which will apply positive power to the meter. And then the, all these sections you see on here that have this little upside down arrow, these are chassis ground. So we'll connect these to a chassis ground somewhere. Now for the charging, these two little connectors right here that are going to show up on the bulkhead, on the, on the chassis of the generator, we're going to do direct connections from here, one over to the positive side and one over to the negative side. And remember, this is only going to be used for doing basically a trickle charge with the battery tender or a quick charge with a quick charge device uh, in the event that this is totally dead and we need to bring it back really quick. Uh, I didn't add this to the diagram. I have one of the terminals installed. This is for the negative side. Uh, I gotta drill the hole and I'll put the one for the positive side up above it. And again, that is for our charging, charging over to our battery over here. And I made up this cable. This is going to be my charging cable. It goes from the battery. I put these little connectors on the end and these will connect to the battery terminal and the other end will go to the bulkhead connector over here for quick charging. Now to test out and make sure that the bulkhead connectors are not shorting out and not touching the chassis, uh, which would make it round, we want to make sure especially that our positive is not touching ground. We can do a check. We do an ohm check 
and I have no connection there on that one and no connection there on that one as well okay so I just wanted to make sure this was a sanity check make sure that we don't have any safety issues okay now it's time to go ahead and wire up the battery to those two terminals all right, well, it looks like everything is in place. Everything's cleaned up. I actually found a little bit of a fuel leak, which was good that I was inside to do the modification. Uh, there was a little bit of a fuel leak. Some of the diesel fuel was leaking uh, from the clean-out port that goes underneath the tank. So I was able to tighten that up, and hopefully I don't have a leak from here on out. So uh, next thing to do is do a quick test. Once we do our test, uh, then we'll do a functional test later on. Make sure everything works fine with the generator, no issues. And uh, we're gonna call it a night. This actually took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take me because it's nighttime. And now it's time for our ultimate test and that's to make sure that everything we did is okay and works properly. So the goal for today was to install this digital voltmeter on here so we can monitor the battery to see how much uh, power it still retains inside, how many volts. And this little LED switch uh, that should light up when we push this button right here uh, to activate it and allow the voltmeter to work. And, and then we could turn it off so we don't leave a, uh, a load on the battery. So the light comes on, the voltmeter comes on, and it says 13.2 volts. So the way to confirm this, if we did these two lugs, these are our uh, bulkhead terminal lugs, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll check those. And I got my handy dandy voltmeter here, and what I'll do is I will connect the two probes here. And let's do a quick check and see what our voltmeter says. Now from our connection here, I'm showing the same voltage, 13.28. So uh, it shows that everything is working properly and it shows that the meter is actually accurate. Now this is my least favorite part of my project and that's clean up time, but it's a necessary evil. I gotta get this all cleaned up, but I am happy. I'm happy, uh, had a successful modification today of the generator and that's the last part of our modification. I think we're done with everything inside there. Except for maybe later on, I was thinking about doing some type of insulation inside with some forced air, some forced air in, forced air out. Uh, so we'll see on a project later on, but I have too many other things on the table right now before I can get to that project there. Uh, so I hope you found today's video to be interesting and you got something out of it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, from here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>